Hello, welcome back to Quarantine Yoga. I um, am feeling very tense and um, reminding myself and you how important it is to show up for your practice. Anybody who has uh, any kind of spiritual practice, this is what we've trained for. It's to manage ourselves when things are hard. And it is hard. And some days I feel pretty positive and strong, and then other days I feel isolated and alone and scared. And uh, I'm feeling tense in my shoulders, I'm feeling tense in my uh, being, in my neck. So um, I thought we could work on that today and just do some, just some exercises to loosen us up. So as always, we're gonna start by grounding and then we'll work into that. So let's settle into our space, rooting down into the mat. You could sit on a meditation pillow or lay flat if that works best for you. Although you're gonna be sitting upright by the time we get into the um, neck stretches. So just keep that in mind. It might, you might have to shift at that point. Um, if you're sitting in a chair, that's great as well. And ground down from here. And on your next inhale, elongate up through your spine, out through your crown, all the way up to the heavens. And when you exhale, you root your sit bones into the mat, into the floor, into wherever you are. And on your next inhale, let's roll our shoulders up and exhale them down to open the chest. Our hands will rest on our legs here, on our thighs or our knee, whatever feels best for you. Chin will be tucked slightly, your eyes will be closed. And we take a minute to settle in. Take this time to really arrive on your mat and be present with the experience. And anything you're feeling right now, just feel it. Don't judge it, just see, just feel it. Feel how it makes you feel, what are your thoughts. Notice places in your body. How's your body reacting to what's going on? See if you can't let go of tension in your forehead, tension behind your eyes, and tension in your jaw. See if your shoulders can just let go a little more. Expand through your chest and your belly on each inhale. And draw everything inward on the going to do a short breathing exercise just to get that air moving, especially stuff that's stuck in our lower lungs. So we're going to be breathing out more than we're breathing in, um, it just slightly, just to make it, just so we can get that some of that gunk moving around. So let's start, let's all exhale out, and inhale for one, two, three, four, hold for two, and exhale, two, three, four, five, six, empty. Inhale, one, two, three, four, hold, two. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six empty. Inhale, one, two, three, four, hold. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, empty. Continue breathing in a nice slow fashion. Make sure that you're exhaling out more than you're breathing in. 
helps move that stagnant air in our body out through our lungs. Begin to notice those places that are really stuck in your body. And let's focus today on like our shoulders and our neck. And just really, as you inhale and exhale, see if you can't bring the breath right into those spaces. And I know like this is a visualization, like clearly we breathe just in our chest, but this is visualizing like as you breathe, your shoulders get broad, your chest goes out, and as you exhale, everything kind of caves back in. Really send it up to your neck. How does that feel? And then let's flutter our eyes open. Just gonna start to drop our right ear to our right shoulder. Just let it drop down. And take a breath or two here, just feeling that stretch. And you're welcome to stay here, this is plenty. If you want a little more, you could take your left hand and just reach it down towards the floor, just opposite direction. It adds just a nice extra stretch there. And then from here, if you'd like, you could begin to move your head up and down very slightly and find that sweet spot that just feels really good. Oof, there it is. Once you find it, breathe into it. Breathing out more than you're breathing in. And you're welcome to stay here. If you still feel like you want a little more, you can take your right hand, wrap it up, and just gently set it on the top of your head over by your left ear. You don't push. There's no pulling down. It's just kind of letting that extra balance be there. That might be too much. It's always too much for me, but some people like that. Let's do two more deep rounds of breath here. And then on your next inhale, come back up through your center line. Hands back on your thighs, tuck your chin, and just take a moment here and notice if you feel anything different from one side to the other. And when you're ready, drop your left ear to the left shoulder. It's going to feel like it's not dropping as much as the right side because it's not as stretched out yet. And do a couple breaths here. And stay here, or if you want a little more, your right hand will just reach down towards the mat, opposite side. And you can begin to gradually lift your head up and down, just to find that sweet spot where you're going to get the most out of this stretch. And breathe into it. Notice that with every breath, it just opens up just a little, just enough. And again, you're welcome to stay here, or you could take your left hand and reach it over so it's by your right ear. And no pulling down, just gently notice the weight of it. Whichever of those three positions feels good to you, that's where you want to be. Do two more rounds of breath here. Deep and intentional, really fill in that opening. And then on your next inhale, come back up to the center line. Hands will return to your knees. And just balance your head on your neck. And on your next exhale, drop your chin towards your chest. 
very slowly with intentional breath, begin to bring your right ear to the right shoulder, looking up towards the sky, left ear goes down by left shoulder, and returning back, chin to chest. And continue in this direction, anywhere that feels really stiff, feel free to stop and breathe into it or go really nice and slow. And we're gonna change directions here in a moment. So just continue with this flow. Really getting a nice stretch all around the neck. And you don't wanna just let your head fall back. You really wanna be cautious of every move you're making we're here to help ourselves, not hurt ourselves. Always remember that. And the next time you find yourself with your chin to your chest, rotate in the opposite direction and go very slow, especially on the first round or two where it's really kind of kinking out, spin going the other way. So it needs your attention any tight spots, feel free to stop. You don't even have to go in a full circle. If that doesn't feel right for your body and your experience, you do what's best for you. And the next time your head is down, let it sit there and inhale up through the center line, balancing like a bobblehead. Let's get into the shoulders. Start lip by lifting them up towards the ear as you inhale and lowering them down behind you on the exhale. Inhale up, exhale back. Inhale up, exhale back. So you're kind of doing a rotation here, just a rotation. See if you can't really make it as big as uh, feels right for your body. Take your time. Go nice and slow. Use your breath. And the next time you find yourself down, rotate, going, lifting from the back forward and down. And from the back forward and down. For all you swimmers out there, it's like you're doing the butterfly. Mm. All right, and the next time you find yourself down, stay down. And then just give yourself a wiggle. Just wiggle it out a little bit, your head and your shoulders. Give it a little wiggle. And then the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start moving the base of our spine. So I like to put my hands on my hips and it's just this, from the base of your spine, just start to do a nice little grind here. Inhaling as you go forward, exhaling as you go back. And if that feels good, you could start going a little bigger, a little more round. If it's more comfortable for you to put your hands on your knees or on your ankles, wherever feels good, wherever they're gonna not be a hindrance to you. And the next time you're forward, let's move it in the other direction, starting small it's nice and right in your center line there. Inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back. And you feel free to get a little bigger. If that feels good for your body. And the next time you come forward, Breathe up into the center line. And that should help get you a little looser for the day. 
always keeping in mind that you're in charge of how you react to any situation. And when you feel this tension come up in your body, there are little things you can do every day to just kind of help release it, just kind of shake it out. So let's close off the practice together, inhaling our arms as we circle sweep into the air, bringing our palms together, lowering down to heart center. You are in control of your body and your choices. Be healthy, be safe, and wash your hands. Thank you.